Okay, this is how not to make a laser-based persistence of vision gadget. Let's get started. Is that it? <sighs> so the idea was to use eight lasers pointed at a spinning mirror to generate eight lines that I could then by controlling when the lasers, each laser pulse on and off, I could produce some nice animations using persistence of vision. Didn't quite work out how I wanted, mostly not due to the idea or the techniques or the general sort of design, but cheap components, mostly, and maybe some other issues. As you can see, well, we'll talk about what you can see here at the end of the video, but for now, let's get on with that build. These are the lasers we're going to use. They cost around one pound to one pound fifty for ten. That's around perhaps about two dollars or thereabouts. Really cheap. And the first thing we need to know is: can we drive them for the Arduino directly, or do we need some sort of buffer chips? So we need to measure the current going through them, see what that is. Uh, the Arduino can manage per input/output pin around about forty milliamps as an absolute maximum. And if we're looking here, yeah. 24 milliamps or thereabouts is what we've got so we can drive them. There's also a limitation on the total amount of current the Arduino can manage. So it can manage around about up to 40 milliamps per input output pin and about 200 milliamps in total. So we're going to run about eight of these at 20 milliamps, so that's about uh, 160. That was a bit slow on that, weren't it really? I should have got that a lot quicker. Around about 160 milliamps total draw from this. So that's really fine. We can just switch these, uh, connect these directly to the Arduino, switch them on and off directly. No extra buffering chips needed. So we line them all up, make sure they all fit on the circuit board. Cut the leads to a shorter length. Solder on the first two or three lasers. Cut a pin at a size to make it easier to connect to the Arduino. Pull out the pins that we don't need. Solder on some jumper wires, which are basically I just keep my cut off resistor and diode legs. Great for this purpose. Push the pin header into the breadboard and let's test these lasers. Brilliant! That seems to be working well. Not that there was any doubt in my mind. So now we just hot glue the lasers in place, which is not as easy as it sounds. The lasers, as I might have mentioned, do not align correctly when you just line them down straight because they're not very quality made so it takes uh, a blob of hot glue and then press them with your hand while it sets while the beams pointing at a wall and you get, get them all lined up in the right position and you will burn your hands doing this and I did so first laser is hot glued in place the second laser with the hot glue put down and you're pressing your hand onto the metal of the body of the laser and yeah you as I said I am burning myself and you try and tweak it so the next laser point in a nice line with the first and you carry on that process for all eight lasers and it is not that easy you're trying to hold it in position while your hands burning until the glue sets hard enough that you can take your finger off oh. next we need to fit a mirror on a motor that will spin round so it can reflect the lasers as it rotates round thus producing a straight line and part of that persistence and vision effect that we're going for for this I just use that um, very cheap flexible mirror which is surprisingly good it's quite reflective it's a good mirror surface it's also not glass that makes it a bit safer and I stick one part on the shaft and then the shaft happened to be the same thickness as the mirror itself so with a little bit more a couple of offshoots I was able to put them in between as a spacer and then another mirror on the other side. Job done. So I tested the motor and that's working fine. It's not flying off anything. It's not flapping too much and vibrating too much. Check the actual current draw and it's a little bit high for the Arduino really to comfortably supply. So we need to have some sort of transistor that can uh, supply a bigger current. And a quick look at my parts box randomly almost pulls out a BC140. Wire that into the circuit. Add a protective diode for the, when a motor stops it actually kicks back a bit of a high voltage in the opposite direction so you add a, a protective diode uh, across the motor basically which will stop it blowing the transistor or even worse the Arduino and we'll do a quick test on that. 
and that's working fine. So the next stage is to be able to control the speed of that motor at will and set it to whatever we want and to know exactly when the motor has got to a certain point so we know when to start switching on the lasers and doing the timing on them to produce a pattern. For that we need some sort of infrared sensors, sensor to send at the mirror that reflects back and this, was, this device I bought a long time ago, perfect for this. So all the parts are in place, just need to add the Arduino, wire it up to the sensor and to the transistor control the motor and then eventually the lasers themselves as well. Quick check of it working with the code and yeah, that is working sweet. Looks quite good with just looking at that small area reflecting off the mirror. But, as you show at the beginning, the final product was just not good enough. The lasers are really poor quality. Two of them failed in circuit or well, they didn't completely go off, it just went dimmer, the rest stayed on, some of them you just couldn't get a sharp dot size, you couldn't get an equal dot size for all of them, it was incredibly hard to point them all in the right direction. The mirror, surprisingly you think that would vibrate and be one of the main problems, it wasn't, it was the lasers that were one of the main problems this design, yes there was a bit of mirror wobble, but that was not the biggest problem for this project not going any further than it did. In the future, I'll look at, I'll, I really want to do a laser persistence of vision sort of toy. And yeah, the way you do it in like these laser projectors, you have a couple of stepper motors and mirrors, which I'm going to have a look at. And actually, that's a future project, not very soon future project. I've got other things I want to do. But that was a complete failure, to be honest. I've learned some, it was a fun build, enjoyed what I did, but it didn't quite get to the end product I wanted. But if you like what you saw, then leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell and you make sure you get notifications of when my videos come up. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. See you later.